Ten Boxing TV here. Our trainer, Ronnie Shields. Uh, David Morrell, impressive first round uh, stoppage. What are your thoughts on the fight and his performance? Well, you know, David, David uh, is a guy that you could take chances with, you know. And I, you know, just told him just get out, have a have a strong first round. Where he had heard him right, and then it kind of seemed like David kind of. Was seeing if the referee was going to stop it, and then he just went in for the kill. Yeah. Where? What did you think when the guy? I mean, he didn't get up for several. It seemed like a few minutes, man. What? What you? What were your thoughts on that, Ronnie? Well, I mean, it's scary at times, you know. But no, this is boxing, you know. We have to take the good with the bad, you know. This is a sport, and it, you know, it's not a, you know, it's like not a dance contest, you know. This is boxing, you know. Boxers take chances and. You know, but if somebody get hurt, of course we don't we don't want somebody to be hurt. But at the same time, it happens in the sport. So we, you know, we pray for the guy. But at the same time, you know, it's either him or David, basically. That's it. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. R Ronnie, I want to ask you something, right? Have, have you ever had a guy like this, or can you remember a guy being this good at nine and zero? No. <laughs> well, you know, the only other well, I got I had two guys actually. Van Holyfield, who won the, uh, the uh, light heavyweight title at a, at a young, I wasn't with him at that time, but I came right after that when he won the cruiserweight title, and a Pernell Whitaker. You know, they're probably the two youngest guys that I've seen do it. With, with David, right? Now there's big talks about him and Benavides. Absolutely. Because the thing is with Canelo, right? It's Benavides has some options. It's Charlo, <laughs> which you, a fighter you have, Andre and Canelo. It, I don't think it's fair to have to say for Charlo, hey, uh, your first fight is 68, Benavides, and Canelo doesn't seem to fight Benavides. Does it seem like Benavides and Morel is, is pretty much going to happen within this next year, or maybe even next? Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I, I think uh, I think it may happen next. You know, I, I don't I don't know when, but you know, but I'm, I'm sure they're going to be in talks real soon. It seems like you always coach all the Cubans, right? You've had Lara um, and, and many others, right? Is this is David Merrill the best Cuban fighter you've ever had? You know what, man? I, you know, Laura was really good. Guillermo Rigondeaux is really good. You know, I think as far as being a puncher, this is the biggest puncher of the Cubans that I've had. And you know, and I think the sky's the limit on this kid. You know, he's young. He's only 25 years old. You know, I mean, for a 25 year old with nine fights, you know, it's crazy. And just thinking about some things like that, I mean, you know, it's, it's hardly unbelievable. With, with David, right? You see the speed, the power. Do people don't? Is he one of the most underrated, underestimated fighters right now in the sport? Oh, without a doubt, man. Without a doubt. But people are starting to take notice now. Co-main event, right? This card. Yeah. Oh man, I, and this is a huge card to be on, and to to get the crowd excited the way he did. You know, people are going to remember that.